The Imperial Gangsters are rather late bloomer compared to the history of their allies and enemies on the north and west sides of Chicago, regardless, the IGs grew to become one of the largest gangs in Chicago with membership in the thousands. The story of this organization only goes back to the year 1969 in the Logan Square neighborhood at the corner of Armitage and Drake. Logan Square was mostly a white community but the white flight was starting to become a phenomenon in this neighborhood as Puerto Rican people were moving in. By 1969 a much larger wave of Puerto Ricans were coming in and white gangs in the area were becoming infuriated. This was the same year that the Gaylords were forming in Logan Square along Bomber Street and the notorious Lawndale and Altgeld set. The Gaylords main goal was to stop Puerto Rican migration into Logan Square and they absorbed smaller white street gangs in the area to further their cause. Eventually the young Puerto Rican youths were getting tired of being bullied by gangs like the Gaylords or other groups of angry whites so they formed their own club called the Imperial Gangsters. The first appointed leader of the Imperial Gangster was Carlos Little Mexico Quintanilla who was only 12 or 13 years old at the time, Chicago Tribune, Keegan, P1, December 12, 1979. Soon after the Imperial Gangsters formed they opened a set on Drake and Palmer the Motherland. Around the holiday season of 1969 another group formed in West Humboldt Park at the corner of Division and Grand Cameron Gangsters called the Imperial Spanish Gangsters, who were under the leadership of Spanky. These were two separate gangs but they were related to each other. The ISGs were kind of like an offshoot of the IGs but they were also heavily united and got together and decided their colors would be black and pink and they would use a rounded crown to separate themselves from the Latin King's crown. Spanky was only in command for a very short time and by 1971 Godfather took over leadership. From a 1980s Chicago Police Handbook, the pitchfork was used back then. In the year 1972 the Imperial Gangsters of Logan Square became heavily influenced by the movie The Godfather that came out that year. These high school kids would visit the Armitage which was a theater that existed at 3553 West Armitage Avenue which was right on the corner of Armitage and Drake where the Iggs first started. Under the leadership of Little Mexico the Iggs were able to establish a relationship with the theater's owner and offered protection from rival gangs in the area just like what the Mafia does. The Iggs acted as ushers in the theater and there were often 50-plus members seen in the theater. Iggs also started dressing like Italian gangsters wearing the long coats, Al Capone shoes, the long coats with the white scarfs and they even twirled around canes. Little Mexico also wanted his members to have guns, so now every member at least carried a small pistol, Chicago Tribune, Keegan, P1, December 12, 1979. Little Mexico and the leadership of the Imperial Spanish Gangsters held a meeting at the Armitage Movie Theater one day in 1972 to discuss fully merging themselves into one organization just known as the Imperial Gangsters. Now there were about 200-plus Imperial gangsters on the streets of West Humboldt Park and Logan Square. There would still be separate leadership for each faction, however, they were now under one name and one organization. Around the time of this merger the Igs now were offering protection to a cleaners and a restaurant that offered them free stuff and free services. This success that the Igs were coming across was soon met with envy from the powerful Latin King Street gang. The Latin Kings wanted to be the only Puerto Rican street gang in all of Humboldt Park and now they were spreading into several more north side neighborhoods including Logan Square this eventually brought the Igs into a full-scale war with Latin Kings. Imperial gangsters' biggest enemies were now Latin Kings, Gaylords and Simon City Royals. In 1973, Little Mexico was now 17 years old and was about to have a child, therefore, he left the Imperial Gangsters gang life and went to college then went on to work with gang members helping them to turn their lives around. After Little Mexico left, Mad Dog took over in 1973, and he ran it until he was imprisoned in 1975. In the mid-1970s, 
The IGS opened new territory at Sawyer and Armitage in Logan Square and North Avenue and Hamlin in West Humboldt Park. This was also the point in time when Gaylords and Latin Kings were getting really large in size in IG territory, these gangs were becoming giants. The IGS had something in common with the Latin Disciples, MLDs, Spanish Cobras, Latin Eagles and Orquestra Albany, and that was that they all hated Latin Kings and were all outnumbered by Latin Kings. These gangs began drawing closer to each other until they became pretty tight by 1978. The in year 1978 these gangs created the United Latino Organization, ALO, which unified these street gangs against Latin Kings and the rival UFO which consisted of five large white gangs that included the Gaylords. Later on that year on November 11, 1978 the Imperial Gangsters joined the Folk Nation Alliance that was created behind prison walls. Spanish Cobras, Latin Disciples Latin Eagles and Orquestra Albany all had joined this alliance so it was a perfect fit for the IGS. In the late 1970s Latinos were beginning to colonize the neighborhood of Hermosa especially by Kelvin Park and this brought IGS to the neighborhood. The Spanish Cobras were beginning an attempt to take over Kelvin Park but assistance was greatly needed because the Gaylords and the Young Freaks, Stone Freaks, were battling Cobras back. Imperial gangsters had already attended Kelvin Park High School and were fighting with white gangs that went there now IGS were moving into the neighborhood. In the 1980s and into the 1990s the IGS opened territory in Hermosa, Irving Park, Albany Park, Wicker Park, Ukrainian Village, Belmont, Krajan, Marquette Park and Brighton Park. The IGS also opened in some suburbs like Cicero, Franklin Park and were the first gang to arrive in the suburb of Bensonville in 1982. By the early 1990s the IGS were engaging in several inter-alliance gang wars especially with maniac Latin disciples and Spanish Cobras. In between 1991 and 1992 MLDs, IGS alongside Latin Eagles and Spanish Cobras began engaging in a three-way war which led to the creation of three sub-alliances within the folk nation the Insane Family, the Maniac Family and the Almighty Family. The Imperial Gangsters was a part of the Almighty Family when it first formed in 1992 and still held an alliance with Simon City Royals and Northside Insane Bopes as they joined the Almighty Alliance as well. With the IGS in the midst of more gang wars and facing more incarcerations the IGS withdrew their troops out of Brighton Park and Marquette Park. The South Side was not their home anyway and they were cut off from a lot of support from either allies or the rest of the nation so the South Side needed to be closed up. The IGS did open solid territory in the suburb of Franklin Park the jungle in the 1980s, however, the Cicero chapter had to close down by the late 1980s but Franklin remained strong. Other than that, the IGS had not lost too much territory over time and had kept the vast majority of their Logan Square turf. Some sets in Logan Square had closed along with Ukrainian Village and Wicker Park because of the gentrification that brought many yuppies and hipsters to IG neighborhoods, but the gang still remains strong in Logan Square, in the news. A leader of the almighty Imperial Gangsters Nation pleaded guilty today to participating in a racketeering conspiracy involving murder, attempted murder, robbery, aggravated battery, aggravated assault and narcotics distribution. Assistant Attorney General Leslie R. Caldwell of the Justice Department's Criminal Division, Special Agent in Charge Michael J. Anderson of the FBI's Chicago Division and Special Agent in Charge George L. Pirro of the FBI's Miami Division made the announcement. Rogelio Perez, a.k.a. Popeye, 44, of Chicago, pleaded guilty before U.S. District Judge Cecilia M. Maltenega of the Southern District of Florida to one count of conspiracy to conduct and participate in the affairs of the almighty Imperial Gangsters Nation through a pattern of racketeering activity. Sentencing is scheduled for February 24, 2017. According to admissions made in connection with his plea, the almighty Imperial Gangsters Nation is a criminal organization whose members and associates engaged in acts of violence, including murder, attempted murder, aggravated battery, aggravated assault, 
narcotics distribution, and other criminal activities, and which operated in the Southern District of Florida, the Northern District of Illinois and the Northern District of Indiana, among other places. Perez joined the Chicago area chapter of the Almighty Imperial Gangsters Nation in approximately 1990 and rose to the level of street leader in approximately 2006, which he remained until his incarceration in June 2012. While a street leader, Perez conducted meetings with Chicago area Almighty Imperial Gangsters Nation and local gang leaders in an effort to strike alliances. In November 2011 and February 2012, Perez admitted that he traveled to Miami to meet the South Florida area chapter of the Almighty Imperial Gangsters Nation to facilitate the criminal activities of the gang. On July 17, 2009, Perez also ordered members of the gang to retaliate against a rival gang in response to a shooting of an Almighty Imperial Gangsters Nation. In addition, Perez that admitted that he and other members of the Almighty Imperial Gangsters Nation earned money for members and financed the gang's activities through trafficking in controlled substances, including cocaine, cocaine base, heroin, ecstasy and marijuana. Perez and other members of the Almighty Imperial Gangsters Nation would use firearms, threats and acts of violence to facilitate their drug trafficking. The FBI's Miami and Chicago field offices investigated the case with the Miami-Dade Police Department, the City of Miami Police Department, the Chicago Police Department, the Franklin Park, Illinois, Police Department, and the East Chicago Police Department. The U.S. Attorney's Offices for the Northern District of Indiana and the Northern District of Illinois, the FBI and ATF field offices in Merrillville, Indiana, the State Attorney's Offices of Miami-Dade and Broward Counties in Florida, the State Attorney's Offices in Cook and DuPage Counties in Illinois, and the Florida Department of Correction and the Broward County Sheriff's Office assisted with this case. Trial Attorneys Joseph A. Cooley Rebecca A. Staden and Nicholas J. Regalia of the Criminal Division's Organized Crime and Gang Section and the U.S. Attorney's Office of the Southern District of Florida's Forfeiture Section are prosecuting the case.